up guys and good morning from Fort Lauderdale here at the Liberty of the Seas. Peter, what day is it buddy? It's cruise day. It's cruise day y'all. We are here in Fort Lauderdale with the Liberty of the Seas. This is the ship that we're getting on board for the next three days going to the Bahamas. Uh, we got Harmony of the Seas over here with us. She's just in for the day and uh, she'll be heading down to Miami for tomorrow. And then I think uh, there's a smaller Royal Caribbean ship over on this side. We'll maybe get a view of her a little bit later. Uh, now guys, we're getting ready to get on board, get inside the terminal. We are cruising with Peter's parents this week, but they're super camera shy. They don't want to be on the film. So uh, you may hear some people in the background, but that's them. They're hanging out with us for the week. Um, we're excited to get in, check in. It's just before uh, 12 o'clock right now. We're going to get our documents together, get on board, and check out Liberty of the Seas. Let's do it. So Pete, we, we parked here at the port. How much was it? $15 a day. $15 a day here in Fort Lauderdale to park at the port. Uh, so keep that in mind. It was, I don't know, it took us maybe 10 minutes to get in, right? Yeah. yeah. About 10 minutes to get in. It wasn't too bad, uh, but just, just do know that the parking situation is definitely different here. No. No. I, I, I tell you what, Pete, so far... Operation in Fort Lauderdale, two thumbs down. Woo, so far, it, is, it has been a little rough, huh? It has not been Port Everglades. That's, I mean, not, not been Port Canaveral, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. We're going up. Pete, we're boarding the ship. This this is very steep. I've never been on a steep. This is very steep. Oh my goodness. Wow. Peter, catch my suitcase. I'm gonna let it go. Alrighty, here we go. And bingo! We're on the ship! We're on the ship! We're on, the ship. We're on board! Yay! So we're gonna go check into our muster station. Like, look at that gangway. Look at how steep that thing is. Yeah. So we're gonna go check into our muster station. So we just made it on board here, guys. Look, the harmony of the seas is leaving. Wow, what perfect timing. So like we just got to, just got to check her out. This ship is, is so cool when it leaves out of here. So they have to dock it over here at this terminal because it's the only one that it'll fit at. The Oasis class and they like pull out and then they have to bring it around and they'll go out this way looks like they were doing an emergency evac drill or something coming inside right now look here's the Royal Promenade oh, we'll have to go check that out here in just a little bit we're going up to get some lunch right now let's go get some lunch mate okay so here's the solarium on Liberty so if this is the adults only area remember so they do have a bar over here and then they've got a nice pool a little bridge over the pool some uh, steps down into the water right here. That's nice. Some relaxing loungers for you. Here's the uh, cantilevered hot tubs over here. These hang out over the side of the ship. Really, really nice to hang out in. I doubt we'll get the time to. And uh, check this out, Harmony of the Sea. She's actually doing some maneuvers or something. I don't know, so they you know, pulled out here and now she's spun around and I think she's coming back to the dock now, so I don't know what's going on over there. Here's the pool deck. Look at this. Everybody's out already relaxing, having a good time. We're ready to celebrate a little, huh, buddy? We're ready to celebrate with some food, right? I think we're gonna come up and get some lunch here in Windjammers. This is Jade and Windjammer. So, what is Jade? What is that? That's the Asian place. Oh, so you've got Chops Grill up here, Giovanni's table over there. Both of those are good. Oh boy. I just heard some people saying it was really good today, so I've got a good expectation. Wind jammer. Wind jammer. Who jams wind? Who jams wind, buddy? A royal does. It's going to be us today. Royal perfect. All right, so let's see what we got on the buffet for today. It is quite busy up here, but like I always say on embarkation day, don't judge. Just like you don't judge a book by its cover, you don't judge a ship by the first couple hours of embarkation. So, it's gonna feel really busy because nobody can go to their staterooms yet. So just give it a few hours and hopefully things will calm down. We've got some nice fruit selections here. Check those out, those look yummy. What you wanna get, bub? Got, uh, seasoned veggies, those look good. Some mashed potatoes and gravy. Some pork schnitzel, hmm, interesting. 
Uh, a few pasta dishes there. You got a barbecue chicken over there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see it. Oh, and we got some kind of fish. What is this? Pan seared fish with tomato caper sauce. That sounds interesting. Yeah, that sounds good. Got some grilled corn on the cob, uh, some garlic roasted wedge potatoes. Let's see, a little bit more of the same. Some sauteed vegetables. Here is some cold cuts. So they've got the meats and cheeses, breads, salads, things like that. All right, so we've had a minute to sit down here and eat at lunch today. Um, food's been good. Food's been great. Uh, I give it two thumbs up. What do you think about your food? Did you like it? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah? The, the pork schnitzel, I've never had it before. It was awesome. It, it, it was good, I have to say. I had, uh, well, I, I showed you around the buffet there a little bit. I had a little bit of everything. I tried to sample a lot. I got a big helping of those mixed veggies, which were really, really good. They were cooked to perfection. I think my favorite thing on the plate, though, and I, I did, of course, I had to get a chicken tender. I had to be a, a four-year-old for a second. My favorite thing was probably that barbecue chicken. Did you get any of that? I did not. Oh, that barbecue chicken was so good, man. It was fantastic. Uh, loved it, it was fall off the bone tender. Totally recommend getting that one here. Of course, you may have something totally different on your embarkation day, but if you have that, it's a safe bet. All right, so let's see. Here's desserts for today. That looks good. Pineapple upside down cake. Back there is the same. It's the same, this is it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, carrot cake. So we've got pineapple upside down cake, carrot cake, apple pound cake. What? The pork schnitzel fresh. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing the pork schnitzel right now. Yep. Um, what is that one? Is that the chocolate fudge bar? Chocolate bar. Yeah. Chocolate bar. Do you want one of these? Um, yeah, I'll take one of those. Why not? And a chocolate bar. And a chocolate bar, please. Those cookies look good. I'm gonna have to get one of those cookies. That's even better. So my favorite for dessert today was actually the cookies, believe it or not. Uh, Peter did not like the no sugar added cookies. Uh, you like the Ranger cookie though, right? You got the Ranger cookie, so those are famous for Royal Caribbean. The co what are they at? Coconut, right? Just coconut and I sugar. There's something else in there. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, he liked that. Uh, the pineapple thing, yeah, it was it was a no. Um, it it kind of tasted like it was cooked last week. Um, the chocolate bar was good though, but I actually think I'm gonna go get another one of those uh, no sugar added cookies. Oh I just I loved it. <laughs> okay, let's go check out our stateroom. Now we have a really unique cabin for uh, this three night sailing. <laughs> Wait till you see this one. Yeah, go ahead Peter, open the door. All right. Let's see it, so uh, we have a little story time for you. Huh, maybe not, maybe we won't get in. Let's see, a little story time for you. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see our room. Oh no, the bed! Oh my gosh. Yo, I gotta tell you, it has been a day. It has been a day here. Try, trying to trying to get on board this ship, y'all. It has been an adventure. So, long, long, long story short, we booked a guarantee room and they gave us a handicap accessible stateroom. So it is much, much bigger than a normal stateroom. Uh, oh my gosh. So we got a big bathroom here, so I'll, uh, I'll have a full room tour video for you. Uh, when that's up, there'll be an eye blinking uh, right up top here, so click on that and go check that out. Uh, but long story short, we booked a guarantee Ocean View cabin, and this is what Royal Caribbean assigned us. So, um, no, we did not intentionally book this and take this cabin from somebody who is handicap accessible. We obviously would not want to do that. This is just the room that Royal Caribbean assigned us to. So I'm guessing somebody was not in need of this cabin today. Um, but like I said, I'll have a full room tour video. So lunch was good. Uh, getting on board was good. It was a little bit chaotic. We'll call it that. Um, and I don't normally say that about Royal Caribbean embarkation. Like normally embarkation with Royal Caribbean is always really, really nice. Uh, I think that we're not using a Royal Caribbean terminal today and that definitely like you could tell um, I think it played a factor into things, right? So I, I will hold that with a grain of salt. Um, you know, I, I don't really think it's fair to maybe hold that against them. Obviously, if they're gonna use this port, 
this terminal, then they, you know, the operation needs to be solid. But maybe, you know, things are, are, are just getting started here, or maybe this was an off day for them. But in any event, food was good upstairs. The ship looks beautiful. Speaking of, we're going to go out and explore just a little bit and check out uh, Liberty of the Seas because we're only here for three nights, man. So, so we got to make the most of it, Peter. What, what are you excited to see first? Should we go check out the promenade? Yes. We, have a, we haven't seen that. We saw just like a little glimpse of that. So we got to go check that out. Uh, we have an ice show tonight. Yes. Um, we of course have dinner in the main dining room today. The casino. We got to check out the casino. So lots to explore, lots to check out. Uh, if you've liked this video so far, give it a thumbs up down below uh, and subscribe if you're new. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the Royal Promenade. Look at this. What have they got? What have they got hanging up there? What is there a party tonight or something? That's for anchors away. They've got the cupcake cupboard. Look at those. Oh, hello. Good, good, good. Those look good. Wow, very nice. Cafe promenade, espresso. We can. Oh man, we had one of those. The uh, promenade view oh, yeah. rooms. The one deck down is the schooner bar and Sabre. Oh, yeah. They have Sabre on here, huh? And then there's the Platinum Theater. Yeah. We'll be in there for, what is it? What's the show? Here, let's take a peek really quick. Let's see what they're doing. Huh. I don't know, I think they're about to have a $200 raffle or something. Oh wow, it's pretty in here. Oh, they're fixing it. Yeah, pretty little theater. So this ship is the same size as uh, Independence, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's nice. Oh my goodness, look at the mirrors. Wow, makes it look so much bigger. Oh, that's cool looking. Sailboat. Casino. Oh my gosh, Peter, look at all that money. There we go. Casino. We're gonna have to get in here later. Mess it up. Although the way our looks going, I don't know about Yeah, I know, right? Might need to lead the lead the money in the safe. On the other side of the casino is the photo gallery. About it. And we got another bar. What bar is this? Hold on. Uh this is Bolero's? Oh my gosh. That's funny. Yeah, I was about to say, Bolero's is normally on the promenade. But I guess they didn't have room for it. There's our ship. Uh oh, here's On Air. Starring you, starring you, starring you. It's karaoke and. Yeah, this is all Studio B. Wow. This is the ice skate. Yeah, this ship is definitely a different layout. Coming all the way from the ceiling, inviting you to my biggest event this the port and shopping. Talking to you all the way from the ceiling. That's what she said. What you got, buddy? What you got? What, you've been looking forward to it, huh? You got it. We stopped, made a little pit stop here. Here's the three that they got. So they got an American combo, classic cheese, or the pepperoni. Can't go wrong with uh, the pepperoni over there. Look at this. It is a beautiful day today. Beautiful day, huh, bud? Great day here in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, it is. Harmony's back at the dock. We don't know what she did. <laughs> she, she went out. She went out, around. spun around, and came on back. Yeah, I don't know what they were doing over there, but anyway, she doesn't have any passengers on board, so probably just doing some drills and stuff like that. So. We're still just exploring the ship here. We've popped up to the top decks now. We're gonna come back, try and see the water slides and activity area back here. They're, oh, the flow rider should be back here too. I don't know. Maybe we should go get the bathing suits on if it's open. We could hit up the flow rider really quick. You know, we only got we only got three days though, bud. We only got three days. We gotta hit it all. We gotta hit the ground running here. Oh, they got the flow rider going. They got it going. Oh my gosh, that one looks wow. fun. So then we have these two slides over here as well as the, uh, what was that one called, the slingshot? That blue one? 
think so. I think it's called the slingshot, yeah. They got a total of three water slides. Yeah. Three water slides plus plus the flow rider here in the black, plus the rock wall course and uh, basketball. Oh, uh, cool. And I don't know how we get out of here. There's lots of blockages on this ship. Yes, it's very it's very blocky. So far, so far, first impressions, we think we like independence more. Um, like we've just, I don't know. This seems cramped. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I feel yeah. like stuck and there's, I'm pretty sure, I have to look it up and confirm, but I'm pretty sure they're the same size. I think they are. I'm pretty sure that they're sister ships, and if that's the they're case... They're the same class, at least. I mean, I don't know. It, 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 it's, it's weird. I don't want to, I don't want to dive too much into that right now, because... We just started. Yeah, we just started. But so far, like, it's definitely more blocky and things like that, right? Whoa. That is a long way down. So we made it up to the, was this the Viking Crown Lounge, I think? Um, I think that's what they call this thing. I know they have the dance floor up here. This is like the nightclub at night. But anyway, look at, uh, look at the views here out the window. And it, it overlooks the, uh, the little splash away bay down there. They got the play park here. They've got a little kiddie pool over here, a little waterfall. So, a couple hot tubs. It's nice, nice little setup. This is a, uh, I think they said this This is a, a sold out cruise, so it's gonna be quite busy these next three days, yeah, but. Uh, no. Yeah, everybody's out here for spring break. They're enjoying the sunshine. Uh, See, we wanna be over there where there's nobody on that ship. I know, look, look, there is nobody, else, just crew members. They are, they are living the dream over there. <laughs> Let's see what's up here. Down there was the, uh, which just came from. This is a, it says this is the Skylight Chapel. Oh my gosh. Wow. What? I have never. Yeah. I have, ne I have never seen this. This is where the um, escape room was on the Independence, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, and now it's a, uh, they have it as a chapel here on the Liberty. Wow, it's pretty, very pretty.